What is up guys, Tyree Gaming here, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another FX Racer episode and we've got the Spanish Grand Prix, it's been a while, I think it's been a week since I last uploaded, as I said I was busy, I'm back to uploading now because I've got time on my hands, so expect loads of content and now obviously look at the championship, we need good results, we only got P10 in that last video we're 21 points behind peter and we go into this one and we qualify in third place but still behind peter and hayden gets pole for stepping in fourth and i just really wanted to get onto the race so i skipped the qualifying i actually shouldn't have done that but we go to five red lights lights underway and it's a decent start for us look at the straight line speed of the first three cars we actually get alongside peter where we're almost touching but now look at this, Peter and Hayden extending their time and pulling away from us into turn one. Peter might actually look to make a move on the inside, maybe looking to extend his championship lead even further. Or Well, of course he's wanting to do that, but Hayden, he's actually not giving him much of a fight. Although he does try and go around the outside, it's going to be the inside for him, but he doesn't get the drive through. And we actually go around the outside of Hayden and we switch back Hayden. But we can't get P2. So Peter's in the lead now. He's on. As if the results go this way. As we're side by side with Hayden. Peter would be on 100 points already. And now uh, on the outside of Hayden. Can we make the move on this long straight. Down to this corner. We're going to break early and switch back like we did. A few corners ago we try it. We break early but then Hayden covers us off really well. It's a good defending from him. We could make a dive bomb but. We lock up a bit on the front right tyre, so we can't do it. Although, maybe can we get a good move through these last few corners? We cut the corner a bit. We're on the inside of Hayden. Can we make the move through the last corner? We can, but I think, we, are we going to be side by side? And look at the difference in speed of us to Hayden. Look at him just fly past us. It's a bit embarrassing, I must say. But moving, moving on in this Grand Prix uh, to lap 4 already we're still stuck behind Hayden in P3 Verstappen's behind us in P4 we got to watch out for Verstappen actually because he's pulled away from Leclerc in P5 and he's actually starting to catch us so he might be in contention of maybe joining us for this battle as we dive down the inside of Hayden make contact with his um, rear tyre and he spins off but I think he rejoined the track in P4 so he hasn't lost that like he hasn't lost out that much he did close the door we were there or well, i mean it was a bit of a risky move to i must say on the penultimate corner diving down the inside but he could have left us the space he didn't and i think that that was probably a combination of errors between the pair of us so moving on to lap five and we're actually peter's probably gonna pit surely he's gonna pit this lap is he no he stays out but look at his tyre wear, look at mine actually, lap 6, we're probably both going to have to pit in on this lap, but Peter actually, he's probably made the wrong choice in terms of strategy, he should have started on the mediums or hard so he could go long, and at the end of the race go on the quicker tyres like the softs or even the super softs, but I doubt they'll be, I doubt the super softs will be worth it. Um, because they'll probably run out quick as we oh, we do make contact with Peter and he he bangs into our car and we slow down a lot there but we have to let Peter go because obviously uh wait now how has Verstappen got how has Verstappen got into P1 almost he's in P2 but we had to let Peter go because we almost went off track and we it was kind of like our fault in the first place we let him go Verstappen just came out of nowhere and got himself almost into P1, we re-overtake Verstappen or look to re-overtake Verstappen so it's gonna be, and there's a car behind us as well, Hayden is there again so it's gonna be like a four-way battle uh, to get into the pit lane first, I think Peter's probably gonna win that um, he's definitely gonna get into the pit lane first we're trying to overtake Verstappen here, we dive down the inside into the penultimate corner and we get a good exit and can I maybe try something on Peter as we go into the pits, no, because we are all, it seems like the whole pit is going to come into the pits at this point, I go for the hards, but these guys are pitting 
it looks like for the yeah for the quicker tires Verstappen on super softs and Peter going on the softs already so they're gonna probably have to pit around lap 12 lap 13 we can stay up till probably lap 15 is what I'm saying but Verstappen actually is gonna be held up by this traffic that is behind us that me and Peter have just about avoided and Verstappen's gonna get he's gonna get done and look overtaken by all these like slower cars uh, he is full position but they obviously haven't pitted yet so he's going to be held up a massive uh, amount which means me and Peter will have to do the fighting for now as we get a good exit on Peter we can't really do anything as he goes way he goes wayward off the track on lap 7 but we can't do anything we're moving on though to the next lap, lap 8 Verstappen has got past all those uh, cars that actually went in the pits and now we're still stuck behind Peter it seems like it's going to be a common theme because our straight line speed versus the AI is always going to be bad. Like the AI are OP on straights but maybe can we do a move here? No we can't because the AI are overpowered on the straights which they need to fix actually in this game. Because you could have the car in last like just absolutely embarrass you on the straight line. And there's no way you can really fight back against it. Only in China is there a massive slipstream in this game, which is, uh, that's so OP all my days. But we could make a move on Peter here into the last corner, and we're actually going to be side by side for once on this start finish straight. But I don't think we're going to be able to make the move. Surely Peter's going to come back at us on the mini map. He's still not there. He's just going on our outside now. Is he going to be able to complete the move? No. Although, Peter, he does make contact with us. And we go off the track and Verstappen goes through them, both of us. He just cuts through the middle and gets the lead of the race. And I didn't even realise Verstappen was that close to us. I forgot about Verstappen. I was just thinking about uh, us two at the front. So we're going to try and overtake Peter. And we do. And we're up into P2. But Verstappen going through the middle of us. That that was that was a pretty cool move from him. Uh, just waiting around, being patient, and then pouncing when you can. But already by lap eleven, uh, we have caught up to Verstappen, and the super softs are wearing out. And if you look at the um, tire wear of him, imagine what the tire wear of Peter would be. Because I mean, he is quite a few seconds behind us, but his tire wear is probably the same as Verstappen's. Our tire wear is really good, so yeah, my prediction of lap 15 might actually become true, as Verstappen surely is going to pit uh, on this lap, because like he did with the softs, that grip was not there for him, and it's not there for him now, as he's sliding about these corners, we're just being patient, I don't want to have a crush or anything like that with him, we don't want to retire from this race, not in the position we're in now, we go all the way around the outside, on the start finish straight which just proves the lack of pace the Red Bull had and it also it. proves that we have made the right strategy because we can stay out and then overcut them plus we will also have the additional bonus of having the softs on our car which will make us even faster than them because Verstappen I think he put on the hard so I don't know what Red Bull are doing uh, with Verstappen and Leclerc pits for the mediums on that 13 Peter and uh, Hayden have also pitted and Dennis pits in. Dennis has been, he's been probably, I think, in P7 or 8, so he hasn't had the best of races. And look at the gap we have to the second or third place car. It's about 25 seconds, which is more than enough uh, for a pit stop gap. We have, a, I think, a pit stop gap on this game is about 20, 15 to 20 seconds. So we could come out way ahead of Peter and Verstappen and Verstappen after being after pissing and Peter after pitting Peter's actually jumped Verstappen so Max must have been caught up behind some lapped cars again or not lapped cars just the slower cars as on lap 14 we're gonna have to pit oh, and it's going on to lap 15 so I was right we're gonna pit for the softs but we are gonna come out I would say about 10 seconds ahead of the car behind and that car behind is Peter, is Ocon, also needs to pit. Hayden uh, already pitted when uh, Peter pitted, so that's going to push Leclerc up to P5. As we come out with five laps left, 
and we are in a dominant position in this race of because of the strategy that we have done like i said at the start of the race peter made the wrong decision as did most other drivers and ocon makes the right decision as he makes the same decision as me uh going onto the faster tire for the end and saving the slower tire for the f like first few first couple of stints so now we're gonna be able to pull away from peter even more the gap now is probably about what 10 seconds so we could probably pull it out to maybe 15 uh going on to the last lap it's been so it's been actually kind of a weird one because there wasn't that m there wasn't that much action in that first part of the race it was just us going around and now as we move on to the second last lap of the race it's been such a dominant race look at the gap we have to the cars behind as peter pits in he drops down to fourth with a lap and a half to go verstappen's into p2 and leclerc also pits so but is this is the real question is verstappen going to be able to hold out his tires until uh, another lap and a half or is he going to pit on the end of this lap and then Peter's going to overtake him and Ocon is in P5 and he made the same strategy as I did but he made the pit a pit stop on what was it a lap later or on the same lap so Ocon might actually be in with another top 5 finish as he got in the last episode as we come round the final corner to start the last lap of the race um, we've actually did a, a massive time look at the look i mean a uh, mad time 117.22 that's like a that's faster than our qualifying lap was i, I think as we're stuck in still in p2 but is he gonna pit we're gonna find out sometime soon peter's still in p4 and i don't think he's been held up by any lapped cars or anything so what's gonna happen here is peter gonna be able to jump for stappen if max pits that is the question now for the race and is hayden gonna pit as well I haven't actually thought of that and I don't think Verstappen did pit or if he has yeah he has he's pit on the super softs but him going on to the super softs doesn't really matter because Peter surely is going to jump him Hayden's actually stayed out so Hayden is going to finish in P2 after starting uh on in pole position Peter's going to get P3 so it's almost going to be like me finishing first in front of Hayden and Peter even though those two started ahead of us. So we're going to gain 10 points on Peter in the championship fight. Dennis actually is going to lose out big time in the championship as we almost make contact with a lapped car. Go, and we do make contact with Gabriel, Verstappen's teammate, but we come around the final corner to take the second win of our second win of the season, finishing in P1 again. Hayden and Peter are going to uh, make up the last couple podium spots. But Verstappen pitting on the last lap, he should have, I don't know why the AI do that, to be honest. They should just stay out for one more lap, and this is the championship picture. We are 11 points behind Peter in this championship fight, moving on to Monaco. Dennis only got 8 points, so he must have finished, I think, in P6. So he actually had a decent end, but he is way off of Peter. He's 27 points of him and 14 points of us. I mean, no, 16 points of us. Hayden is there, he's almost catching up to Peter, as are Verstappen and Leclerc, and look at where our teammate is down in P19, it's so disappointing to see. Guys, next episode is Monaco, make sure to smash like and subscribe on this one, and the next few episodes, and I'll see you in the next one, good.